All right, welcome back to React and Chill with Shelby Dudley. It's Bay Ragney here, and we are ready to watch another episode. Well, we're watching an episode, another um, match segment, whatever you like to call it. We are on segment number four in episode number 14 from July, I think it's the 6th. Let me see how it's written down here. July 6th, 1993. And uh, this is the last segment of this episode, like I said. So we're going to hit that play button, see what's coming up. I know, because I saw the little teaser as I was doing the last episode. But, in case you don't know, I'm not going to spoil it for you yet. But let me put myself in the corner. And before I hit play, hey, let me put my little, my little ticker banner over there to remind you to make sure to subscribe to the channel. Go down below, hit subscribe, and ring that bell just so you get all the notifications and make sure you come along for this ride as we go to the extreme. All right, let me hit play and let's get into it. Gilbert, the uh, newly crowned king of Philadelphia, and who I thought was referee Kevin Christian. And Eddie Gilbert, no joking around, no kidding around. I want straight answers this time. The fans of Philadelphia deserve it. We want to know what's going on. First of all, exactly who is this? I don't want to call him a gentleman. Who is this man? Who did I say he was? Who did Paul E. say he was last week? In the ring after the Texas. Your game. brother, Freddie Gilbert? I've never heard of Freddie Gilbert. We know of your other brother, Doug. We know of your father, Tommy Gilbert. Freddie Gilbert? Big deal. Big deal. I don't really care, Jay Sully. What you know or what the people of Philadelphia... Pennsylvania know what Todd Gordon knows even what he cares about even wants to know about my family tree he wants to come out of here and I heard about your little inquiring interview with him where he said that he's known me for all my life and he didn't know I had a had a number two brother as Charlie Chan would want to call it I do have a brother number two let me explain something to all you feeble-minded and simple -minded see I, kn I didn't know none, nothing of that I just my youngest didn't know anything of this here isn't kind of right you know what i mean he's not right and my mom and dad sent him to another school they want him to get a good education they didn't want him in the wrestling business they want him to be like some journalist or something stupid like that or they want him to be a doctor or a lawyer they didn't want him to carry on the great gilbert name in professional wrestling well i made sure this year when freddie got out of school i just kind of scooped him around the neck and I said, you're going to Philadelphia with me because we have a mission in Philadelphia. You see, I'm going to Philadelphia, Freddie, and you're going with me. And you're going to help me. That's right. I said, help me. You can take that any way you want to take it, Jay Sully. You and Todd Gordon and all these stupid, idiotic people here. He's my brother. And I said he would help me, and he did help me become the king of Philadelphia. All of Philadelphia. All of the Delaware Valley. The king of Philadelphia throughout South Street and everywhere I'm going to go now to see all my people. And Todd Gordon, you can fire anybody you want to. You did it right in the middle of the ring in front of all your great ECW fans that night. Hmm. And you thought you embarrassed me. But most of all, you thought you embarrassed Freddie. Well, Freddie doesn't scare too much. You see, like I said, he's not right. Well, Freddie's going to be in my corner. What's he mean by he's out. not right? <laughs> he is going to be my second in my corner anywhere I go throughout the Northeast from here on out, Jay Sully. Freddie Gilbert will be with me. And any questions that you or Todd Gordon have for Freddie Gilbert, you direct them to me. End of interview. Cut the camera, Mr. Director. Interesting. See, I, I never saw any of this stuff. Todd Gordon and Todd so I don't know what's going to happen or what. Before. Here we go. Wonderful. The match has been signed for next week. The tag team titles are on the line. The Super Destroyers against the Suicide Blondes. Special stipulations. If the Blondes lose, they're out of the ECW forever. Sal Belomo hands up the ringside. <laughs> That's hysterical. Who knows what's going to happen, but the tag team titles are on the line next week. Wow, unbelievable. We told you all what was going to happen. Everybody knows. Hunter Q. Robbins, guess what, baby? We're going to hit you, and we're going to hit you big, right where it hurts, in your pocketbook. What do you think, too? That's right. The midgets are going down. We're keeping these belts, and nobody's going to take them from us. Nobody's going to take them out from us because I'm going to be handcuffed to the manager. You know what? One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to eat lots of garlic that day. You know what? I'm going to be in your face. And I'm going to be in your face. I'm going to be in your face. And I'm going to be in your face. And you're going to go nowhere. That's hysterical. 
hysterical. You know, I cannot believe that Todd Gordon would actually sanction that next week right here. I was going to say, is this match already? Will be handcuffed to they spelled Candido wrong. How the hell do you spell Chris's name wrong? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You heard it, Paulie, dangerously. Handcuffed next week. The wild man, Dabalomo, will be handcuffed to Hunter 2 Robinson III. That should even things up. You know, I, wow, man, these two are really going That's out. a hell of a oh, freaking dropkick, man. Polly, I love that dropkick. Hey, it's on the hospital. Oh, is it about Peaches? Polly, is it about Peaches? Yeah, well, hold on, yeah. Is she okay? Yeah, well, how is she? Polly, come on, is she okay? Wow. Polly, come on. Polly. Yeah, all right, let me get back to you. Thanks, Uncle Moisha. Apparently, from the hospital... What I have learned through my source, Uncle Moisha, the peeping Tom, there has been some tremendous damage to the eyes of Peaches. There's something, they don't know if it's ink or paint, but it was thrown flush in the eyes, and they're trying to, they're putting some solution in her eyes right now, oh. and they're trying to clear it out, but she can't see anything, and she's screaming, and she's all upset, and she can't see anything. She can't see anything at all. That's what I was afraid of, fans. Unbelievable. The Rock and Rebel, you saw it. Out here throwing some kind of ink or paint in the faces of Miss Peaches and Paulie Dangerously, Dangerously just got the report from the hospital. Apparently, I've never blocked. seen that move. Unbelievable, fans. Blocks a clothesline by biting him. You know, it's oh man, look at this. He's biting the fingers of Christopher Candido. You know, it's one thing the way we saw the Suicide Blondes lose the titles on this program, but you know, even I have to be shocked that the Rebel would throw ink or paint or some sort of substance into the eyes of a, you know, I mean, I'm not known for being such a gentleman to woman, but to throw ink or paint into the eyes of a woman to send her to the hospital to possibly blind her from... If only I mean, that was the least he did to women. And Despicable is what it is, Paulie Dangerous. Well, it's it's all, oh, here we go! Oh, here comes the son of an eye body! It's party time! Uh, Unbelievable! So, three was, suicide blondes into the so ring! So weak the looking. Referee's called for the bell. Here comes Hunter Q. Robbins the third as well. What's going on here, fans? Here comes Tony Stetson. What's he doing in the yeah, ring? Yeah, it's party time! And they're going to do a number on Pasha Galoo. We need some help here. We need some help. Here come the Super So is Stetson a suicide blonde now? I'm very curious. Because I remember they started teaming Hot Body and Stetson. Oh! Oh! That's great way to end the show, though. Complete just chaos. It's complete mayhem, and it gets everybody, you know, it's like that classic NWA in the 80s. Oh, no, it's time. We're going to go. to have the blondes leave or actually oh man oh man oh, we gotta get out of here fans there's the signal are we even rolling Polly, we're out of here fans we'll see you next week we'll Let's see you next on. week everybody actually we'll see you in a few days we're not waiting until next week episode 15's coming up we're getting there 
slowly but surely, we are getting there. Let me uh, let me hit pause on this real quick before it starts up on the next episode. Let me bring myself bigger so you can see me. There we go. All right. Give me your thoughts. Drop a comment. Let me know. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think of the whole angle between the Super D's, um, Suicide Blondes? Do you think, like, I'm, I'm guessing this is where Candido in 93 left the area to go to Smoky Mountain. So that's why they did this. But I guess they also, too, were getting rid of Michaels. But I know Hot Body ended up staying for a while. And I guess that's why they brought Stetson in, because him and Stetson ended up teaming. See, I, I don't, again, if you don't know, and I've talked about this in the early episodes, at this point in time when I was let go from ECW, when I was one of the Hell Riders early on, um, I was so bitter and angry. I stopped watching the, the TV show. So a lot of, this is all completely new to me, because I stopped watching from the point that I was let go, which was around episode seven or eight. So. I haven't watched none of this stuff until um, the near future. I started watching it. So I was here in Tibbetts, and I got interested, and I wanted to know what was going on. And um, I saw that the product had gotten a lot better. Because I, I, I hated the product early on when we started TV. I thought it was bad. So anyway, uh, go down below. Hit the subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment. Hang out with me. We got a lot of ECW wrestling to watch, a lot of TV uh, episodes to watch, a lot of matches, and we're going to be here for a long time. So come along for the ride. I hope everybody's doing good. I hope you're out safe out there. You're well and you're ready to get extreme.